Hey guys, Adriana Jimenez joined here with fan favorite Josecito Lopez. Josecito, what a, a great fight that we have Saturday night here at Staples Center. You versus John Molina Jr. Just automatically with those two names, we know it's a great fight that's gonna, that could potentially steal the show. How excited, how eager are you for Saturday night? You know what, all, all of my life and especially in the last few years, I just want to be in exciting fights and memorable fights, and this is one of them. This is one of them against a tough opponent. Um, you know, and you can't expect nothing less but an all-action fight to set off the pay-per-view on Fox. You know, I wanted to ask you, like, how do you put into words, if you want to tell a fight fan, you know, what to expect? It's, it's, it's kind of hard to describe besides just an action-packed war. I mean, how do you describe a fight against John Molina Jr.? Just action. <laughs> Overall action. You know, uh... Two well-known warriors going at it head-to-head, -head, setting off the fireworks on pay-per-view. Tune in and tune in early. Right, right. I mean, you're coming off a great victory, I'm sorry, a great fight against uh, Keith Thurman. You had fans at the edge of their seats. We Many thought you, you almost had it. Obviously, it didn't go your way, uh, but it was a great fight nonetheless. What are you looking to show on Saturday night? Well, obviously, I'm, um, I've prepared well, and my team prepared me for, for a victory on Saturday night. And, you know, give myself an opportunity to fight some of the top guys in the welterweight division. I know I can hang with them, and I really like to get another world title shot and really go, get a go at it and, and then uh, accomplish my dream, which is become a world champ. I think there's been a conversation that, that with the victory on Saturday night against John Molina, it could catapult you into into the uh, that conversation again to another world title shot. You see that as well, then? Yeah, it's definitely a possibility, but uh, you know, I'm I'm not one to look ahead. I have a tough task ahead of me on September 28th, and I got to take care of that first. Of course, this fight is uh, with the pay per view, with the main event. We have uh, Errol Spence versus Sean Porter. How do you see the main event going down? I think it's a great fight with two of the top welterweights right now. So uh, you know. Uh, I, I give an edge to Errol Spence, but uh, you can't count out a, a dog like Sean Porter, and he's going to make it rough. Do you see Errol Spence winning by decision, or do you think he's been saying that he wants to knock out Sean Porter? Do you think he can do that? Uh, well, I think they could both uh, knock each other out, but I, I see a, a very good fight going into the to the distance and. Uh, um, becoming a decision fight. Okay, well, we'll see, of course, what happens with the main event. Um, before I let you go, I'd like to get your thoughts on last week uh, they had the announcement for Canelo moving up to divisions to face Kovalev. You've obviously been in the ring with Canelo. You moved up in weight to face him. What do you make of him going up to 175 and taking on Kovalev? Well, that, that's a big jump, you know, and uh, he's, he's, uh, he's escalated the... the um, the division's quite well, and uh, he holds his power, so I don't feel like he'll have too much trouble, but he's going in against a uh, tough opponent, yeah. and he, he's not taking uh, any 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 small risk. He's taking a big risk, but I think he's prepared for it, and he's ready. Your trainer, Robert Garcia, told me that he expects um, Canelo to beat him by knockout. Do you share feelings with him? I feel like he can. I feel like he can. He's a strong fighter, and... Uh, you know, I think he can find it, but uh, you know, he's gonna he's gonna go through some adversity. But I think eventually he could get the knockout. Well, as I mentioned, you've been in the ring with Canelo. Is there any advice that you could give Kovalev? Um, because everyone talks about Canelo's body work, body shots. What advice can you give Sergey Kovalev? I mean, Kovalev has been in the game for a long time. I think uh, Kovalev will, will go in having a good game plan. You know, is. You gotta, you gotta watch out for those Mexican body hooks, uh, body shots. You know, the, the, I know uh, I, I can visualize Canelo coming in and attacking the body and finishing up on top. And I think uh, that's gonna be key for for Canelo to either drop him or, or really connect some good punches. Of course, one more Mexican, of course. Though, before I let you go, um, Andy Reese with the rematch against Anthony Joshua. Do you think we're gonna see the same thing happen down in Saudi Arabia? I think it's going to be just as exciting, and I think the same thing is going to happen. Uh, I'm, I'm pumped for Andy Ruiz. Uh, I know he has another opportunity to pr prove himself that that wasn't just a fluke. Andy's been in the game for a long time, and he knows how to fight, and uh, he's going to show it uh, on November. All right, we'll see. And, of course, thank you so much uh, for uh, for your time. Good luck on Saturday night. You guys, don't miss this fight, Josecito Lopez versus John Molina Jr. This Saturday here. If you're in the L.A. area, come down to Staples Center, and if not, make sure you tune in at Fox Pay-Per-View. Thank you so much, Josecito. Oh, man, oh, before I let you go, oh, my God, I keep, I keep asking you for more and more. Sorry. Un mensaje a toda la afición que va a estar mirando tu pelea, también va a estar eh, por Fox Deportes. Un mensaje a la afición, por favor. 
Sí, quiero darle muchas gracias a todos los, mis seguidores y a toda la gente que me, me ha apoyado durante todos estos años. Uh, tengo una pelea muy buena contra un contrincante muy difícil y que pega fuerte, pero uh, voy a estar una buena, me he preparado muy bien y quiero mandarle muchos saludos a, a todo México, a Coahuila, a Durango, a Jalisco y Colima y a toda mi familia que me está viendo desde México. Gracias. Todo. Muchas gracias, buena suerte.